Thank you. Apologies here. Can you hear me? Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Bill Arrakis, for allowing me to wave on to today's hearing. And thank you, Chair Khan and the commissioners for being with us here. As mentioned earlier in this hearing, Representative Duncan and I co-led a letter to the FTC, the USTR, and DOJ on the decision to abandon, dec to abandon decades long bipartisan trade policies proposed by the World Trade Organization. By abandoning these established international standards, we are abdicating our lead on the world stage and risking cross-border data flows in each and every sector, all under false guise of regulating big tech. It is clear from a FOIA invest recent request by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce that USTR coordinated these actions with left-leaning organizations such as Open Markets Institute, which Chairman Khan was previously the legal director. These questionable interactions are indicative of a type of closed-door dealings that are being used to pursue anti-digital trade policies throughout the Biden administration. Chair Khan, we risk cutting off every sector in the economy, from agriculture to medical diagnostics, from the international market by abandoning these trade policies. In fact, my district, Pennsylvania 13, had over $300 million in exports of digitally tradable services just in 2022 alone. Do you believe, Chair Khan, that by abandoning these provisions of established international standards, that there is potential of hurting American businesses and hurting my constituents? Uh, Congressman, thanks for the question. The FTC was not involved in that decision relating to WTO digital rules, and so I would defer to USTR. As a general matter, when other agencies seek our expertise on consumer protection or privacy or competition, we are happy to provide it, and especially when certain trade agreements are implicating those issues, we think it's important to be able to share that expertise. But the specific decision you mentioned, I would defer to USTR because we were not involved. So as I asked in my letter from January, is it appropriate for the FTC, along with USTR and DOJ, to conduct backroom deals on foreign trade policies without informing Congress? So that doesn't characterize how the FTC operates. If other agencies seek our expertise, given the tremendous expertise of our staff on consumer protection, privacy, antitrust, we readily provide it. Um, as you know, a lot of the trade discussions are non-public, and so that necessarily doesn't happen out in the open. But uh, I would defer to USTR on any specific questions around that. Well, did you, or to your knowledge, did USTR inform other government agencies, such as the State Department, that the U.S. was withdrawing from our proposed digital trade policies? I'm not aware. I would defer to USTR. Do you think the DOJ was made aware? I, I wouldn't want to speak for DOJ, so I would defer to USTR. So, in effect, these decisions appear to have been made in a vacuum. These decisions, as you said, are often under closed door circumstances, and we in Congress are not made aware of how these decisions are made. This is quite concerning to me. Did you ask USTR, USTR to remove due process and consumer welfare safeguards from upcoming trade agreements? Uh, Congressman, we share our expertise with USTR, and so when they seek our input on documents, and we want to make sure that we're not embedding in trade agreements policies that would undermine FTC enforcement, our ability to stop abuses of Americans' privacy, uh, to be able to stop fraud, to be able to make sure illegal big tech monopolies are not misusing their power. And if this power. involved removing due process? Uh, Congressman, you know, we follow due process in all of the FTC's work as the FTC Act uh, in accordance with the FTC Act, and we'll continue to do that. Chair Khan, will you commit to disclosing all communications between antitrust division staff that were formerly employed by the American Economic Liberties Project or the Open Markets Institute and USTR staff that were formerly employed by either of these organizations? Uh, Congressman, we're happy to look at your request and um, be able to engage however we can. 
I think this is important information. I would really look forward to seeing your response to that. I think this information will allow us to have a better trustworthy relationship with you and with your commissions. I thank you, the chair for allowing me to wave on to this important hearing, and I look forward, Chair Khan, to your response. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and I yield. The, the gentleman 